Hey everybody. So, uh, taking my doggy here, Nug, for a walk. We walk up here quite a bit. We start way back there, like, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile. And then come up through the woods to this is a, a field for the private school that's in the direction that you're looking now. Up, up through there, there's a path and a trail and actually kind of a road but this is a their, their ball field and it's just it's been deserted for two years they still come up and mow it but they haven't weed whacked around the bases you can tell there's, there's been no no ball going on here it's just sad you know how they just managed to to change everything for the worse so fast and this school is like, um, I believe it's like a high school. But they had, you know, all kinds of sports teams. They played soccer and lacrosse, girls, girls lacrosse and different things. But, you know, this is, this is such a nice, such a nice setting. I'm sure people, I, I never came up here to watch ball games or anything. I, I really never even knew this was here until I started walking a nug around, but, um... It's a very kind of pricey school, but it's pretty big. I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, you know, I got the nice hill up here for the spectators. They got the, I, I don't know what you call that, the back net or whatever. Back something I remember from baseball, but you know, so you're not going to get drilled by a foul ball. But what a nice setting, you know. And, um,. You know, and I see those kids walking around town a little bit sometimes, still, but, you know, most of the time they got a mask on. And uh, it's just such a shame. What a beautiful field. Two years now. I didn't come up here last year, but I'm, I'll guarantee you there wasn't anything going on last year if there's not going, go, anything going on this year. But, I, you know, I can almost hear the, you know, hear the, the, the crack of the bat on the, on the ball and picture a bunch of kids running around having fun and com competing with each other fans sitting up on a hill there I'm sure when uh, when they were having baseball or softball games they, they probably kept that field that little hill there kind of mowed for the fans that's a sad it's a sad commentary on this whole big uh, worldwide scare that they've been pushing on us and it's sad to say you know the the people I know around here well that's not sad the, the, you know my friends and people that I've known for years around here you know mostly you know I'm 60 they're my age some you know somewhat younger somewhat older but I've been around here for like 30 years but all the people I've known for all these years none of them have gotten vaccinated and they all work for themselves or, you know, loggers and, you know, different things that they do. But they support families. They don't watch a lot of news. Unfortunately, you know, I, I would have said, used, used to would have said, unfortunately, not many of them vote. I used to think that was bad. I don't vote anymore. But they don't, they don't really care about any of that stuff. And they didn't get vaccinated. And their kids aren't walking around with masks. But they tell, but I hear that 80% of Vermont is vaccinated, the most vaccinated state. Um, and that's true because, you know, everybody, you know, except for the, like I say, the, the type of person, they're, you know, they're country people. They work with their hands. They don't watch a lot of news, except for those people, which unfortunately has diminished in, in proportion uh, over the years in Vermont. Uh, there's a lot of independent-minded people in Vermont. And even, like, back when I played the right-left game and I was on the right and all well, the hippies around here were on the left, but we all agreed that we just left each other alone and we just loved Vermont. And Vermont has always been a very inde independent state. And, you know, there was the whole free Vermont thing where v Vermont was going to secede. But unfortunately, there's been a huge influx of people from the cities, and I can't blame them. I'd want to move out of there, too. 
and I don't I don't really know how to explain it except and a lot of these a lot of these hippie types if if I can stereotype but and they're all a lot of friends of mine come on Nug come on Nug um, but I think some of them fell fall for the vaccine thing they listen to the NPR and they think that somehow that's different from the mainstream media so I think some of the some of the some of the hippie types that moved up here and have had you know established homesteads and been living off the grid and you know where you know learning stuff from the locals have been here forever um, you know and in, in general independent minded I think a lot of them have definitely fallen for the for the VC thing but I don't know. I haven't been on, on to talk to you guys in a while. Now, come on. Come on, Nug. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. But yeah, I was just thinking about it, looking at this poor abandoned baseball field. And how much, not just this baseball field, but how many fields and parks and recreation areas, you know year and a half ago, two years ago, where all kinds of nice, natural, good activity was going on. And now everybody's wearing a mask and, uh, you know, none of these sports. And, he, and, I, and I imagine, probably even if some of these stupid places are kind of doing sports, they're making the kids wear a mask or some stupid thing. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say hi, show you this nice... Abandoned baseball field. And I hope you guys are doing well. Come on, Nug. She's uh, not super obedient. <laughs> she will come. Come on, let's go, Nug. But she, she's she got a mind of her own. She's, And I'm not, I haven't been spending enough time training her. All my other dogs in the past never needed much training. I always had, well, I've had a lot of German Shepherds and and usually, uh, you know, when I get a dog, I've, I've still got one that kind of trains the dog for me, learned to stick around. But I never had a pity. And she's a different, she's different. And I never got a, a dog this old. She's five, she was five when I got her last November. Um, normally I've gotten them younger, like one or two years old or a couple puppies when I first started with dogs. Come on, Nug. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on, Nug. Good girl. Nug. <laughs> but she's she's really a cool dog. But she's uh she's not like German Shepherds. She's got a mind of her own. The German Shepherds always were right by me. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, little Nick. Good girl, little Nick. All right. Good little Nick. I do give her a treat when she comes. <laughs> Good Nick. All right. All right. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed the scenery here. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right, God bless each and every one of you. And, uh, bye now.